Well, well. Look who's up at the crack of noon. <laughs> I didn't get to bed until 7 a.m. Oh, good defense, Edward. <laughs> Son, were you drinking? Well, I blew the foam off a few. Uh-huh. Hey, Rich, um, I'd like to speak to Edward alone, so... So I should get lost? Thanks. <laughs> Well, that party you went to last night must have been a real doozy. <laughs> yeah, the frat house really rocked. Music, babes, good food. Drinking. Well, we had a keg in the tub. <laughs> and a keg in the kitchen. <laughs> and a keg in the coat closet. <laughs> Do you find this amusing, Edward? No, sir. <laughs> because I don't find it remotely amusing when my teenage son comes home drunk. Oh, Dad, I'm 19 years old now. I'm in college now anyway. And besides, last night was the first time I got drunk in my entire life. Well, Edward, you know, you are underage. So that one better be your last. Come on, Dad, lighten up. What do you mean, lighten up? Edward, your mother and I send you to college to get an education, not to party hardy. Look, I study hard all week. When the weekend comes, I want to relax. I mean, that's the whole reason why I joined the fraternity, so I can have some fun. I don't object to fun. I love fun. In fact, I'm the grand funk master of fun. <laughs> But I don't need to take a drink to have a good time. And neither do you. Why do you always do this? Why do I always do what? Limit me. Build walls around Edward, me. Edward, this is not about balls. This is about roads. And drinking will take you down a road that leads to a dead end. Look, Dad, I don't see how having a few beers with my friends is going to hurt me. Edward, here is the bottom line. The next day that I catch you drinking again will be the very last day that you live in this house. 